Hi everyone. So I will be starting off the tour. I am Jonathan. I am a first year at the University of Toronto and I'm aiming to pursue a double major in economics and computer science with a minor in political science. Uh, I was in Nexus since year three, so I've been, I was actually there for 11 years. Uh, I was a scholar in Nexus and I'm also currently a president scholar at the University of Toronto. Okay, so first off we have the theater and I think um, I've, you know, I've explored a couple of international schools and I think Nexus has one of the more beautiful theatres. It has a capacity of more than 500 people. It's well equipped with um, state-of-the-art facilities like a 360 degree su a surround sound system, an LED screen, and also a seven feet kawaii concert grand piano. And what it does is really it just elicits the best art potential from Nexus learners. So I've had personal experiences there as a pianist myself, performing, you know, um, in the soloist concert, in the spring concert, performing with the orchestra, uh, whatnot. This is also where the weekly primary school meeting takes place, where each year group presents summaries of their learning for the week. Okay, and next I will be bringing you to the cafeteria. Um, so this is the cafeteria at Nexus. Um, it's where obviously not only we enjoy the food at Nexus, but where friendships are cultivated and, you know, where student and teacher bonds grow together. You know, I often come across my teachers uh, in this um, cafeteria and just talk to them spontaneously. Um, you know, we, the food here is pretty good. It's, um, we have an international cuisine uh, as well as the Malaysian menu. And obviously, being a school, we put students' health at the top of the list. I've never had any problems. Um, um, with the food here, uh, we you know we have seasonal food. You know sometimes we have nasi lemak. I mean obviously that's not the healthiest, but that's also seasonal. Uh, and often we have lots of different options like vegetarian options, salad bar, or whatnot. Next, the main library at Nexus, uh, and this is also my um, probably my favorite location in Nexus. We actually have um, you know I if I may not be that informed, but I think this is one of the largest libraries of any international school in Nexus, at least from what I've seen. It has two floors. Um, so the bottom floor is for secondary and primary learners. And the second floor, which is um, on top of this, is for IB learners, which I've benefited from. So we have books of all kinds, both recreational and academic. It develops a voracious appetite for reading. And we have extracurricular events to supplement that. So what I mean is that we have things like Novel Knockout, which I used to be part of in primary. Um, and so the Ivy Library is um, what you're seeing right now. And it hosts um, a plurality of like resources. So uh, we have a bunch of history books, which, you know, I'm a history nerd. So I love books by like Jung Chang, David Decatur, and all these books on Chinese history, apartheid, um, South Africa, all these things, which I use for the extended essay of the IB program, as well as internal assessment. So I wrote my internal assessment on uh, Mao Zedong in China, for example. We also have lots of like uh, math books, like we have a book on fluid dynamics to model blood flow mathematically. Don't really know much about it, but that just goes to show how many resources we have. We also have a librarian to give us access to online resources. So Nexus is very well equipped with online resources like JSTOR and Questia, and Cardio and all these allow us access to journal articles um, online. Okay, next is the early years play area. So this is the early years play area at Nexus. Um, you can see that it's strategically situated at the center of the building. And what this is good for is that it not only gives students a nice uh, uh, place to hang out together uh, to like play together but it's also there for safety concerts so the teachers can always watch over the learners here they won't you know run, run away out of the teacher site and of course we pass by the corridor every day too and so the scene of children having fun always puts a smile on passerby's faces next will be the primary classroom this is the primary classroom at Nexus. It's a extremely engaging environment. And you know, I've been there for year three, four, five, six. So I've been able to experience what it's like to be part of a fun and cohesive environment. You can see that um, the theme of like uh, taking ownership of your own learning is ubiquitous in this classroom. And you can also see how um, every learner's work is celebrated. So you can see 
all those like posters on the wall, their work is put up on hangers, what not. And I guess what that creates is a, is a fun space. You can also see how, you know, the arrangement of tables is one that encourages teamwork and, um, um, and relationship building. So unlike, unlike other road systems of learning where everyone is facing one whiteboard, um, people here face one another so that encourages dialogue, uh, whatnot. And moving up, we are going to the secondary classroom next. Uh, so the secondary classroom at Nexus, um, you know, we foster intellectual curiosity and academic rigor here. Again, you can see the whole theme of emphasizing group work is evident in the fact that, you know, everyone's facing each other. Um, and so it's a very collaborative environment to emphasize things like creative thinking, whatnot. And as Mr. David mentioned, we are a school that employs technology to serve the needs of the learners. So we also use things like a smart board. Uh, as opposed to a traditional whiteboard and what that means is that we use technology as a means of enhancing learning because we can in, uh, interact with whiteboards for example uh, interact with smart boards um, in you know drawing whatnot and it creates just a relaxed and conducive environment next is the drama studio and nexus uh, you can see we have a pretty modern and aesthetically pleasing um, drama studio we have stage sets lighting recording equipment, whatnot. So, you know, um, it's a perfect environment to support the exploration of alternate realities in drama. And, you know, it's also used for things other than drama. You know, it'd be kind of a waste if all we did in here was drama. So having so many good equipments, it also means that we can use this place for things like photo shoots. So when I was secretary general of our MUN conference, we took our secretariat photos here. I expect Fatima will probably do the same here. In the student council, we also take our photos here, um, why not? Uh, and finally, we have the art room. Uh, you can see immediately there's a burst of color because we have natural sunlight coming in through the windows and, it uh, and this just creates a tranquil and conducive space for learners. We also have a virtual reality set for IB art learners. So obviously you see again, the theme of technology uh, is evident once again. We also have a range of art tools. So you, if you like paper mache, you can do that. If you like ink drawing, you can do that too. Um, it generally just sparks students' creativity and help bring out the artist in them. Yeah, that's all from me. And I hope you enjoyed that. And I will pass it on to Fatima. Hi, everybody. My name is Fatima. I am currently a year 13 learner, so I'm finishing my last year of the IB diploma as well as my last year of high school. And I've been in boarding and I've been in Nexus since I was in year 10. So let's start off with the science lab. Um, from the middle years until the IB diploma, you'll have lessons in and out here and we're fully equipped. We have all the equipment you would need for any of your internal assessments. And I think it's just a fun place to explore science, especially for the younger learners uh, to the field, please. So this is our sports field. And as you can see in the background, we have our grandstand. So that's where parents, teachers, and peers can support learners when there's competitions or when we have sports day, like the video you saw earlier. So we host our annual sports day here and there's always kids running around playing football and there's always fun happening on the field. And this is where our PE lessons will be held as well. Uh, to the pool, please. So this is a 25 meter pool and we host our annual swimming galas here and we also have boarding activities here. And I think some of my favorite nights in boarding were spent swimming in the pool. And uh, during your PE lessons, you'll also have swimming and primary learners, secondary learners all use the swimming pool throughout the week and throughout the year. Uh, to the primary play area, please. I think the same with John, I absolutely love hearing the kids play and seeing them being so happy and it just brightens up the whole environment at Nexus. So as you see, it's very colorful, it's very vibrant and there's loads of toys for the kids to play with. There's hopscotch, I think that's what you call it. I haven't played in a long time and I'm just, it's so glad to see it around Nexus and to see kids having fun. And it really just puts a smile on your face. Uh, can we go to the indoor gym please? So this is the indoor gym. It is a multi-purpose gym. So we have the court line set up for badminton, basketball, netball, uh, anything you could really imagine. We also have a lot of the equipment to support that. 
And since these photos were taken, we actually had a rock climbing wall installed. So we have a bouldering after school club, for instance, and there's a lot of after school clubs which keep Nexus learners engaged as well as the borders and it keeps us active and it's a lot of fun. And I honestly love training for netball. And so all of our netball sessions will happen here. All right, uh, to the boarding house, please. So this is the common room of the boarding house, and this is where we have our three meals a day. This is also where we can just chill and relax, and this is the co-ed mingling area. So the younger learners will have their prep and study time down here, and also sometimes tuition. But we are fully equipped with all, all the chairs you need. There's been more tables and chairs installed for meal times. And we have a pool table, table tennis table, foosball table. So it's just a great place to hang out, to cook, to chat, and just honestly relax at the end of the school day. Uh, to the living room, please. So this is the living room and this is on every floor. We have four floors, two for boys and two for girls. So there's a TV, bean bags, whiteboards, and I think a lot of my times so when I was hanging out with my seniors, we would just be chatting on a common floor and just sitting around and having a coffee. And each uh, living room floor is equipped with a kitchenette, so a fridge, a sink, a microwave, and it just makes it a little bit easier to midnight snack every once in a while. Uh, to the triple room, please. So this is the triple sharing room and there are four options for rooms and boarding. So we have a double sharing room, a triple sharing, a quad room and a single room. I'm staying in a single room and as an IB learner, I, it's really nice to have some privacy and some downtime every now and then. So every learner will get a bed, a desk, a set of drawers and a closet for them to keep all their belongings and all their stuff. And you really can make your room your own as you see in the picture. And I absolutely love decorating my room and making it my own. And I think it really instills how boarding just becomes a home away from home. Uh, to the campus overview, please. So Nexus really is an oasis in the middle of Putrajaya. We're surrounded by trees and I know I absolutely love it. Every time I look out of my window or I look out of a classroom window, I just see trees and it makes you feel so calm inside. And as you can see, we have outdoor netball, tennis and basketball courts as well. And although it may look a little bit big at times when you move here, uh, I know it was really hard for me to get around at the beginning, but you get the hang of it. And I think the Nexus community and Nexus boarding as well really just helps you fit in and the fact that the boarding house is on campus makes it so much more convenient after school and during exams and I know I absolutely love my time here. Thank you so much.